Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Blog. I am Alex and here is Dave, a uh, military antique collector and dealer. We are uh, on a military antique show in Ohio, Wilmington, uh, 2020. It is uh, November of 20. That's a weird time. So, hello. Good to see you, Alex. Good to see you too. Uh, could you explain uh, and tell us about some of uh, items you have on your display? Uh, a lot of medals and uh, quite rare pieces and uh, extremely rare, some of them. Some of them. And what about weird time? Uh, now it's about business. Uh, is it better? Yes. Is it, is it better? Or? Well, it's, uh, it's different. So, our online business has definitely picked up. We were selling a lot more online than we were before. Uh, the shows have slowed down. Some people are, you know, we just, I think our, I think a lot of our biggest customers are from Europe. Um, they, fl you know, they fly over. They have a lot of stuff here. We do a lot more bartering here. Um, so, it, it's definitely a different dynamic. We don't do mm -hmm. as many sales at the shows. We do more sales online, no, okay. but uh, we're buying a lot of shows. Personally, I mean, yeah. I already bought one thing. One thing from here. Yes, you got the nice cross. Yeah, Alec, you can you can ask him about that later. He got the best one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll start with the simple thing. This is a BSW Infantry Assault Badge. And this is the correct cloud box for it. Mm -hmm. We have it priced at 450. And uh, is it correct uh, box for this type? This, this is the correct box for this badge. The BSW infantries, they came in these, what's called a cloud box. That's what collectors know. Um, BSW badges, they typically have this crimped. Mm -hmm. They typically have the crimped hardware. They are made of zinc with a silver wash. Okay. It's a bit more of a deluxe box than what some of the other makers have. Like, for instance, the Herman Oryx. And Ryan and I had picked up a very large collection in Nebraska about three years ago. We had about 20 of these. They all came in the same type of box. They're a bit less quality than the BSW. It's just simple, thin cardboard with a staple. Um, a big hoard of these was found. I believe it, it was in Europe. And they've been spread through collections since. Um, this is a Rudolf Karnath. Typical box for the Rudolf Karnath. And uh, case it's uh, badges like this, it's very cool because uh, it looks better than uh, just a, yes, just a badge. Many, you know, most of the card, the cases survive much better than these cardboards. Yeah. They, uh, and here is a um, very rare uh, aluminium Asman pilot badges. Yeah. So the first pattern Asman. I don't know, period, period of uh, produce of this type? Late 30s, 37, mm -hmm. 38, okay, uh, before, 39. Before World War Yep, prior to the war. Most of these do have broken catches. This is a repaired catch. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times you'll see, and this one's nice because the rivets have not been flattened. A lot of times you can see the eagle's slightly loose. It's typical of Asman. Mm -hmm. They just, for some reason, their birds loosened up and guys would smash these rivets and tighten them up. This one has not been tightened. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the, and this is the right type of box that you'll see with this. And what is the best items here on uh, this display box? Some of my, um, some of my favorites are the, you know, we've already gone over the pilot. And how much is it? The pilot is 2200 for the set. Mm -hmm. That's US dollars. Um, this is also a very nice set. This is a correct LDO box for an EK-1 Spang, repetition Spang. It has the original price with the L11 mark. It's a Dormer set. It does have the it does have the L11 mark Dormer Spang in it. Yeah. The set was just picked up. So it has the L11 mark on it. It's a very rough, it's a very tough set to find on the market complete. These Dormer sets are very desirable. Right now we have this one priced at 1500 And it's a good variant, a good version with uh, extra polish of uh, these yes. uh, sides. It has the burnishing on the swastika mm -hmm. and the, the date. Yeah, that's interesting one. Yep. This is a nice 
this one. And some minty here. Some minty awards here. Yeah, so we have a really nice first pattern, Petsy Lorenz SS four year metal. This is in the correct box. Uh, not a lot of people realize this, but believe it or not, so as far as far, I mean, I've owned quite a number of these, but the boxes for a four year and an eight year are different. Um, you'll see that these are, it's, it's, it's a different type of a paint that we find for the SS runes on the four year mm -hmm. as opposed to the eight year. And I've just picked up on this because I bought a number of these out of the woodwork from veteran families and very old collections and it's just, I don't have another eight year to compare it to, but this is what you want to see on a four year box. Mm -hmm. And how much is it? Bear with me one second. I have $1,400. Uh -huh. And the case is most of that. Yeah. The case is the hard part to find. The metal is not so. Yeah, but that's good price. Yes. And, and, and for our subscribers, could you name uh, all metals from uh, this row? Sure. Because of different types. And, uh... So this is the blockade breaker. This is the Kreese Marine blockade breaker with the miniature. Now, unfortunately, the miniature, typically they have a little stick pin. It's broken off. This is the right case for it. There's another version that does have the lettering. It's not here. Yeah, and uh, this beige um, attend for a uh, crew for uh, for vessels who came from uh, different countries to this Sud Reich uh, during the war when war started. Right. And uh, they have to pass through uh, enemy the British blockade. Yes, yes. The British blockaded Germany during the war, so these vessels would run through the blockade, and those who Those who made it through were awarded with the medal. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have a, a rare 50 year long service award. This is a 40 year long service award. 25 year long service. It's a whole collection of, of them. Yes. This is this is it. These are all uh, all three in the case. And how much is it? I, um I, for the 50? Yes, you can't find it. These are, yes, these two you'll see yeah. very frequently, but the 50 is not so easy to find. I have the, the case set at 575. Mm -hmm. It's very nice because it has no enamel damage. Okay. It's good gilding. Very light patina. Yeah. And th those two? These here? Yes. This is a 40 year mm -hmm. with gold. Again, it's enameled uh, with the 40 year box. These are not so expensive. Uh, I have 115 on mm -hmm. this set and 75 on the 25 year set. This is a 25 year long service police award. Mm -hmm. We've talked about the SS. We have a 15 year, I'm sorry, apologize. This is a 10 year NSDAP long service award mm -hmm. with the miniatures. And then a German Eagle order without swords. And how much is it? This is a very interesting Let me board. Pull this one out. Unfortunately, the back, mm -hmm. part of the hinges come undone. I do have 1500 on this set. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. This has the typical 21 with 900 silver mark on the ring. And you have another one here. I have another one with the neck award. So this is the third class. Mm -hmm. And with the original box too. And with, how much is it? With the original box. Because people ask me prices uh, a lot of yes. times for, for every piece, so I have to ask. So, but this box has slight scuffs. It is missing the clasp. But it's still the interior is very nice. Um, 3,100. I have 3,100. That's yeah. US dollars. Uh, where did you buy it? You um, looking for items on auctions or you... So this... So this was a part of a very old collection that was amassed in New York City. The, the collector had died last year and the collection was, was really was sold 
mm-hmm. um, by the family, off to one collector who pretty much parted it out. And I was, I actually bought three sets like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do have two others, one without swords, one with, in the boxes, Ryan has those. They're mm-hmm. gonna be on the website soon. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. The night set. A lot of these cases came from the same, same collector. It's not that. You, you see how flat the, the tank is. Yes. It's it's more vaulted. Got you. So the tank's more vaulted. It's not the correct base material. Um, uh, that's all I need to know. That's good enough. No, I appreciate it. Wow, it was live. He he showed you the beige and asked your opinion, and uh, it was wrong thing. It was incorrect. Hmm? It was incorrect. It was yeah. a fake. It was a reproduction. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, uh, there's a lot of the Hermann Ulrich made Panzer badges that are fake out there. Um, it, it had the. The typical ball hinge and and catch and this is this is an older fake a lot of collectors know about um, but, but badge collectors know about but if you're not into badges it's it's not always cut and dry okay. simple answer you know my main focus uh, is on the daggers and uh, you're in a beige so uh, I would like to ask about fakes on the market uh, is it, how many fakes here? Um, I mean, in percent, in half or 30 percent? Probably close to 30 percent. Thirty percent are faked. Um, you do have to be careful of the badge being real but refinished, or you know, some of the hardware having been resoldered or repaired. Um, it it's. So here at the show, probably 30% of them are mm-hmm. outright fakes, and then you'll have about maybe 15-20% have been messed with in some fashion. Finding okay. untouched badges is getting harder and harder. Uh, here in the United States, the you know we don't the, the fake badges are a bit easier here. I do go to Europe to the Castle Show and some of the other shows. The fakes in Europe are much better. Yeah. They they are they're getting them. Uh, much closer to what the originals are. They still can't quite get the finish, but... Yeah. In daggers, uh, they're most not just the fakes because it's hard to make um, fakes from... from right. From uh, nothing, yes. It's, yes. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's constructed, more, re- reconstruction or... More labor. Yes. Uh, re- refinished too, and uh, resharping or something like that. Right. When, when they clean it, um, and, I think it's more than 60% of uh, them touched, yes. touched items. Yeah. yeah, they clean the blades or they, they, they polish them or re-tip yeah. them. Or... But it's, it's our hobby and, uh, right. and the power p- part of our work to find uh, good items. That's it. Yeah, and uh, help collectors and help to find. And collectors, yeah. well that's it. And um, And about uh, this display case, uh, I see several very rare items. It's uh, numbered, numbered pages yes. here in the bottom. Could you tell our subscribers about uh, these sure. pages and uh, can I ask you about prices? Because every time they ask. Yes. So I'll start down here. So mm-hmm. this is a 25 engagement general assault badge. This was given out to this was given out to soldiers who didn't qualify for the infantry assault badge, nor did they qualify for a Panzer assault badge. Um, after 25 engagements, they would be awarded this. It's a multi-piece construction. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are late war. They were instituted in 1943, so they're zinc made. Uh, the price on this one is $2,150. And how you um, research information about originality, or uh, you keep it on head, or you use uh, some books or websites? Well, the books, the books definitely they they help. But the best thing is to memorize it. Um, you know, mm-hmm. starting with this badge, it's really it comes down to yeah. you, the badge itself, and then you go with the maker. Mm-hmm. The maker has certain characteristics, like the rivets, the hardware, mm-hmm. the finish type that they use. It's it it's it's kind of a science. 
<laughs> really, it's you can't. The days of just looking at them and knowing what's real and what's yeah. not are over. It you really have to know. The same in the veg and You have to to make sure that every detail is from, uh, from right. the same uh, same yes. factory and same time. That's right. Yeah, they're all made and, the same. And another one. It's 25. There is so a we have 50. a 25. I did just pick up a 50 at this show. You bought it here? I bought this one here. Oh, wow. This is another JFS. And uh, so this one has lost a lot of its finish, mm -hmm. but it's typical JFS construction with aluminum rivets, magnetic. Mm -hmm. um, has the correct number box on it. But you can see. You know, these zinc badges, sometimes they lose their finish, so they go to this gray. Yeah. Uh, the price on this one is about $2,800. It's a bit more because it has the 50. It's a little bit rarer to find. But price could be uh, bigger or price higher, could be if, higher. If, if it will be conditioned it, like this. If it has a, a better condition, yes, the price yeah. can go higher. And then... And once you jump from the 50s to the mm -hmm. 75s, the price difference is a its a big increase. So you have a different, totally different pattern with the gold. You have a gold finish over the zinc, a much bigger eagle. Uh, the construction, again, same thing. It was the JFS maker, you have aluminum rivets. It's mm -hmm. the same type of Crimpton hardware. And you have that typical striping with where the finish is just evaporated from the zinc. Yeah. Uh, the price for this badge is eight thousand two hundred. Mm -hmm. So you're almost four times as much as this once you get to the seventy fives. Yeah. And there is one grade higher than this, which is a hundred engagement. We don't have one of those today. And uh, the tank. And this is another, another one we just picked up today. Um, this is very nice JFS Panzer Assault badge. Mm -hmm. It still has a lot of the nice finish on it. Um, this one is about twenty-four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Twenty-four hundred dollars and about condition on uh, ten fr fr from one to ten when ten is highest. Yeah, this is probably an eight. Eight. It's okay. probably about an eight. I mean, nine and ten, it's got to be pretty close to perfect. Mm -hmm. and these are very hard to find perfect because the zinc it just it doesn't hold the finish as well as yeah. some of the earlier badges and um, what about this one because uh, this one is a typical badge but uh, yes it's so a special is, one this is a pretty special one um, it's a Junker manufacturer it's an earlier Junker manufacturer it's mm -hmm. a hollow back mm -hmm. uh, but this one received a copper co it is a zinc badge but it received a copper coating over top of the zinc then res and then it was given a higher quality silver finish as opposed to some of the later ones mm -hmm. and this one has retained a lot of its burnishing um, this is a really nice one this one comes from my personal collection mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's one of the nicest junkers that I've ever yeah. seen 450 I think. 450 yeah that's very nice and by the way, I would like to ask uh, my subscribers what badges you would like to see next time. Maybe tell more about something else, because uh, there is a lot of material and uh, we can't uh, tell about everything just in video. So uh, put comments and we will answer about it. So what is your favorite items uh, except this group? For, from uh, this display case. This display case. Yeah, the sub badge is pretty nice. I mean, it's a uh, it's a typical Schwerin, mm -hmm. but it has very nice fire gilding and burnishing. Yeah. Yeah. I like uh, you bought badges and uh, my subscribers know. <laughs> These are quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have a nice uh, look off a ground assault badge. Which is an Osang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite rare too. And how much is it? I have 550 on this one. It's mostly due because it has a lot of the silver finish left mm -hmm. on it, and the yeah. paint is on the the cloud. 
And on this exhibition and this show, you was uh, faster than me because I uh, saw this eagle from uh, that guy, and uh, third too long. So you was faster. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you like it? I do. Can't think yeah. too long on the eagles. They so they so pretty quick. Yeah, it, it was uh, quite expensive uh, for uh, first view, but I think market has changed. It's changing every year, so yes, that's fair. The market is changing. It's uh, these things are getting much harder to find untouched. Collectors really want them. Yeah, uh, because it's a really good illustration for uh, trophies. For because uh, this collection is not support of Nazis or right. something like that. This is uh, cultural things, and uh, when you have collection, it's uh, good for like a trophy room. That's uh, right. Yeah, it's like a lion head uh, in front of door. <laughs> That's right. On the top of door. Right. Yeah. Well, the American GIs love these things, and when they got to the train cars, they they cut them off. Uh, some of the times they just they pried them off and they broke and you'll see holes mm -hmm. but this is nice because they actually got on and you can still see the threads on the posts which means that when they did cut it and you can see where they did mm -hmm. uh, they didn't do a bad job cutting it they took their time yeah um, but it has very nice dark patina this was this was most likely on the side of a car yeah and by the way I bought here on the show I bought a uh, picture and uh, yeah. you can see there this you go. eagle yeah, here uh, on the cart yeah on the cart that's about this it's about the same size yes it's the same size uh, there was several size uh, bigger and one smaller as I remember and, yes and uh, this is a middle size uh, directly like in a picture I'd like uh, to have picture and I'm collecting pictures with um, antique stuff that I would like to buy and uh, my customers buy and so yes that's interesting <laughs> yeah. So. And um, I, I have picture, uh, but uh, not in a paper. I have picture of uh, American GIs who just catched uh, these eagles, and uh, there is a holes yes. on the, yeah, because yes. they just uh, they yeah. just pried them off. Yeah. They're just aluminum, so they just like, pried was, them right off of there. Yeah, it was easy to liberate and uh, easy to break. Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> it's a big item to ship home too. Yeah. So. But uh, American veterans, uh, I think, proud of these items uh, when they brought it back because it's very good illustration. Well, these were their war trophies. Yeah. So, you know, they went through almost a year of fighting in Europe and yeah. they wanted stuff to send home as mementos. I mean, it was a pretty... It's a pretty big war. Yeah. My uncle was in the 82nd during the war, but uh, he didn't send anything home. He didn't want to remember it. Okay. Somewhere like that. That's interesting. Is there on the display items directly from uh, your collection? Uh, you already told uh, about this one, about yes. uh, this beige. Maybe some more items from yeah, there's your a, collection? Yeah, there's a few more. Um, I did start selling my collection last year. A lot of my badges, my good ones have sold. I kept a lot of the very nice early rare ones and mm -hmm. they sold very quickly, but I do have a... What is the best one, I mean? Uh, this, this, this hasn't sold yet, but this to me, uh, this is a really hard one to find. It's a GWL uh, Luftwaffe ground assault badge and they come in the boxes like this. And the box is, it's, it's a very difficult to find the box. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a late war box. Um, and you could see the... Yeah, special carton. Uh, yes. Uh, things, yeah, it's cool. I, I saw um, Falschimjager. Uh, like this uh, paratrooper, paratrooper beige yes. uh, with the same type of uh, box. With the same, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So GWL cool. did these late war boxes, mm -hmm. um, but not all. 
are marked with the Erd Kampf abstraction. Mm-hmm. That's very interesting. So to find it with this, it's 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 tough. I only know of one other set right now for sale. Oh wow! Uh, and I believe rare. Jason Burmeister has it. Mm-hmm. And uh, this one, how much is it? Uh, this one is two thousand. Two thousand. And another one without uh, without the box and with uh, good finish uh, is five hundred fifty. Five hundred fifty. So yeah. it's uh, because of type and uh, complete. Because of the case, it's, yeah. the, it's the case. Yeah. Okay. The case is about three quarters of it. Okay. Thank you very much for your interview, and uh, I hope our subscribers uh, likes it. Thank you very much, and see you next time. I see you next time. Bye.